frightening animal attacks are something that many people fear when they walk through the woods or head into their backyard. However, most of these creatures will leave you alone if you keep your distance, which is much easier than avoiding a wasp's painful sting. What makes an animal sting so painful? It could be the size of the animal's teeth, the length of its claws, or the venom it injects. But no matter what the animal is doing, it is stinging today. It is likely to be painful. There are a variety of stings that can make your life miserable. Here are 20 most painful animal stings you can experience. Number 20. Titan Beetle We like the Titan Beetle because of this Titanus giganteus. They live deep in South Africa's tropical rainforests, especially in the north of Brazil, Colombia, Peru, Ecuador, and the Guineas. Most of the titans we see today come from French Guiana. If they feel threatened, these big bugs will hiss, but they are not mean. They protect themselves with sharp spines and jaws that are strong enough to break a pencil, dent a plastic ruler, or cut a person's flesh. So don't get in the way of the titan. Many people think Hercules beetles are dangerous because they are so big and have such big horns. Their horns are not dangerous, and beetles are not known to bite. But if you pick one up, its strong, spiny legs might scratch you. Titan larvae eat rotting wood under the ground and only live as adults for a few weeks. We don't know much about how this bug lives, but some similar beetles don't eat when they're adults. Before we begin, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Centipede Centipede stings induce discomfort, edema, and redness. Symptoms usually disappear after 48 hours. Serious issues can arise. Infection and tissue and skin deterioration can result. Also possible is an allergic response. Centipedes are linked to lobsters, crayfish, and shrimp. They descended from 1 meter long, 39 inch prehistoric centipedes. Despite the name, centipedes can be 30 to 350 feet long. One pair of legs per body segment. Depending on the species, they can be an inch or longer. They live in rainforests, deserts, and the Arctic. Centipedes lurk in dark, moist locations like beneath stones and boards, in crawl spaces and basements, and under decaying logs. The night is when centipedes' prey is active. Beware of centipedes in moist, chilly regions and turn on the lights if you wake up at night. Centipedes usually try to flee when encountered. Its tiny, pointy legs may cause pinpricks when the escape path involves you. Contrary to belief, only a centipede's first pair of legs are venomous. Centipede stings cause agony, redness, and swelling similar to bee stings. Pain can be relieved with acetaminophen or ibuprofen. Warm water can alleviate discomfort and edema from centipede poison. Ice packs minimize centipede envenomation discomfort. Centipede stings produce puncture wounds, so get a tetanus vaccination every 10 years. Number 18. Warrior Wasp Bees have cute names like Honey and Bumble, but wasps have names like Executioner and Warrior. That sound like a lot more dangerous. Warrior wasps live in Central or South America. They get their name from aggressive behavior like beating their wings threateningly and making a war drum sound by scraping their mandibles on the inside of their nests. Warrior wasps are, in fact, very mean. People say that they are very protective of the area around their nests. There are certain types of watch wasps that make a loud buzzing sound by flapping their wings at the same time when they feel threatened. The warrior wasp's jaws are longer than its front legs. Its sting can be painful for up to two hours. A warrior wasp won't come after you if you don't cross into its territory. On this pain index scale, the warrior wasps get a four out of four. The first pain makes you weep right away. It's not as bad as the bullet ant bite, but when it starts to hurt, it feels like an electrical current running through the area where you were stung. Brave Wilderness says that as time goes on, he feels like he's getting stung over and over again without getting any better. As the body's natural defenses kick in to protect against the sting, the surrounding area gets bigger and tighter. I feel like I will pass out and my body gets hot. The arm feels like it's on end. Number 17. Stingray Stingrays resemble flat disks with wing-like fins. Stingray species can be found in both freshwater and saltwater. 
They are typically found in tropical oceans and their stings frequently cause harm to beachgoers. A stingray's tail is long, slender, and tapering, resembling the tip of a whip. A sheath conceals one or more spines with barbs at the tail's tip. The tail of a stingray can deliver a potent, excruciatingly painful sting, and each of its spines is packed with venom. Most stingrays don't pose a threat. They are, in fact, renowned for their kindness. They frequently swim out to deeper water after digging holes in the sand in shallow water. Stingrays typically only sting when they are agitated or when swimmers unknowingly step on them. In most cases, stingray stings can be avoided. Pay close attention to how the sting makes you feel. A potentially fatal allergic reaction brought on by stingray venom requires rapid medical attention. Expect the area to expand. Hot water can destroy stingray venom, which may also help the agony subside. Try soaking the sting in hot water once you've determined that you're not allergic to it, although some sources state there is no evidence that soaking is effective. Once the pain has subsided, apply an antibiotic cream or ointment to the area and wrap it in gauze. Number 16. Tarantula Hawk Stung by a tarantula hawk? When I am asked for advice, I tell people to get on the floor and scream as loud as they can. Because the pain is so debilitating and excruciating, the victim is at risk of sustaining additional injuries if they trip in a hole or over an object in the path and then fall onto a cactus or into a barbed wire fence. The pain is so debilitating and excruciating that the victim risks suffering additional injuries. Because of the excruciating nature of the sting, virtually no one can keep their normal coordination or cognitive control to avoid unintentionally hurting themselves. It is gratifying to scream, and doing so helps lessen the attention paid to the agony of the sting. Very few, if any, people would knowingly allow themselves to be stung by a tarantula hawk. The reputation of spider wasps, more especially tarantula hawks, is widely known among members of the biological world. All the stings experienced occurred when the collector was overly enthusiastic about getting specimens. The typical reaction of the stung individual was to scream, shout an obscenity, and hurl the insect net into the air. The agony comes on suddenly. It is terrifying, agonizing, and completely incapacitating all at the same time. Number 15. Harvester Ant Even though many of the more aggressive ant species bite, stings and the venom they inject into the skin are what cause the most damage. Aggressive ants like harvester ants are important to medicine because people they attack often get stung many times, and sometimes even by the same ant more than once. Harvester ants often walk back to their nests with big pieces of plant matter in their jaws. If you find an ant nest, don't go near it, especially if you like to wear sandals because the ants won't hesitate to sting people. The Schmidt Pain Index, which shows how painful different arthropod bites and stings are, says that harvester ant stings hurt more than red imported fire ant stings. A sting from a harvester ant feels like someone is drilling into an ingrown toenail for a few days. The venom that harvester ants make is the most poisonous type of insect venom that has been found so far. The ants are reddish and they like it very hot. Because of this, you can see them all over Arizona in the middle of summer. Number 14. Bullet Ant Bullet ants are unique in building their underground nests in colonies of up to 3,000 individuals, which is a staggeringly large number by ant standards. They are found in the tropical jungles of Central and South America. The individual ants encounter squadrons of predatory birds, reptiles, frogs, monkeys, and other insects and spiders while foraging in the forest canopy. In addition to the dangers they face at home in the ant nest, they can stridulate, which to us sounds like a repetitive tiny squeak. It's a typical warning sound with a wide frequency spectrum and a straightforward structure, similar to the rattlesnake's warning rattle, to warn predators that they are not tasty and not worth the risk of attacking. Bullet ants also have an olfactory warning that they smell like roasted garlic. The shiny black color of bullet ants is another visual warning that if you attack, you will likely be scared when you see it. A healthy individual weighing 154 pounds, 70 kilograms, could be fatally stung 245 times if they ignore the unpleasant warning and continue attacking a bullet ant colony. I am unaware of any fatalities brought on by bullet ant stings. Number 13. Sea Urchin Urchins can be found in oceans all around the world. 
Most sea urchin injuries occur when spines break off in the skin and induce reactions in the surrounding tissue. If treatment is not administered, the spines have the potential to go further into the tissues, where they could cause a granulomatous nodular lesion or they could become wedged against bone or nerve. Pain in the joints and muscles, in addition to dermatitis, may be experienced. Some sea urchins, such as Globiferous pedicellarae, have calcareous jaws that contain venom organs, allowing them to inject venom. However, injuries caused by sea urchins are extremely uncommon. Urchins in the ocean can be spherical or flat in shape and are entirely covered with spines for defense. Sea urchins survive all depths of the water. Pedicellarae, which resemble miniature pincers or claws, are located at the end of each of these spines. You won't come under attack from sea urchins, but you risk accidentally stepping on or touching one because they prefer to reside in shallow water and hide close to rocks. If you lightly touch a sea urchin, you generally won't get stung. But if you make contact with any amount of pressure, such as if you tread on a sea urchin, the pedicellarae of the sea urchin will likely release venom and sting you. This can happen even if you lightly touch a sea urchin. Number 12. Velvet Ants Ants made of velvet that live alone. Winged males seek for females without wings to mate with. After mating, wasps go their separate ways. The female will not dig or construct her own nest, rather, she will sneak into the nests of other birds. The female velvet ant will lay her eggs on the helpless pupae of other insects. Such as solitary ground nesting wasps, velvet ants are classified as parasitoids. There is only ever one egg laid by a female velvet ant in each pupa. As a result, they can waste a significant amount of time looking for nests or hosts. In order to protect themselves from being consumed by predators, velvet ants have developed a variety of defensive mechanisms. As a kind of defense against potential predators, velvet ants emit a loud squeak, emit vivid colors, and emit a chemical odor. These signals warn potential predators to steer clear of the wasp. On the pain scale for stinging insects, stings are ranked from 0 to 4, with 0 being the least painful. The severity of the agony caused by a sting from a velvet ant might vary from species to species. Although velvet ants pose little threat to cows, their reputation as cow killers stems from the excruciating pain caused by their stings. Wasps only resort to stinging as a last option, and they do it in order to terrify their prey into releasing them rather than to hurt or kill them. Number 11. Goliath Bird Eating Spider Goliaths are good weavers but don't make webs to catch food. Instead, they use their skills to line their burrows under the forest floor. The goliath's poison kills small animals but doesn't kill people. It hurt about as much as a sting from a wasp. In some parts of South America, the giant spider is a delicacy. Its itchy hairs are carefully burned off before the spider is roasted in banana leaves. Goliath bird eaters are the biggest type of tarantula in the world. The word tarantula refers to any hairy spider. This hairy spider has legs about the size of a dinner plate or a small pizza and can weigh up to 2.5 ounces. Their bodies are both dark brown and light brown. Like most spiders, they have four sets of legs and no antennae. Their bodies have two parts that can be seen from the outside, the cephalothorax, the head and neck together, and the abdomen. Even though they have eight eyes, they can't see well. They can only see changes in how bright something is. Instead, they use hairs that can feel even the smallest vibrations on the ground and in the air. This lets them know when something is moving. Number 10. Bark Scorpions The Arizona Bark Scorpion is the most poisonous in the United States. Don't be surprised that this scorpion may be found in Arizona, which is common in residential areas such as Phoenix, Surprise, Mesa, and others. Painful but only severe and problematic for individuals with a significant allergy. Most scorpion stings are comparable to the agony one experiences after being stung by a bee. Do not freak out if you or someone you care about has been stung by a scorpion. Several species of scorpions look like Arizona bark scorpions but have far less venom, and the amount of venom you receive from each sting can vary. Some people have no symptoms after being stung by an Arizona bark scorpion, even though they have been stung. On the other hand, the symptoms can be rather distressing if you are stung by this particular species of scorpion. Deaths that may be traced to a bark scorpion are extremely uncommon. It's thought that only two people have passed away due to being stung by these wasps. On the other hand, the other symptoms are prevalent, with thousands of extremely painful scorpion stings reported yearly. Stings from scorpions can cause excruciating pain. However, it is possible to avoid them. Number 9. Jellyfish 
People who swim, wade, or dive in seawaters frequently get jellyfish stings. Thousands of tiny barbed stingers can inject you with venom through the long tentacles that extend from the jellyfish body. The severity of jellyfish stings varies widely. They typically leave behind red, inflamed markings on the skin as well as instant pain. Some jellyfish stings may result in more severe systemic, whole body disease. Additionally, jellyfish stings can occasionally be fatal. The majority of jellyfish stings heal on their own. Emergency medical attention is needed for severe reactions. You might assume that jellyfish have nothing to offer since they are transparent and largely composed of water, but you'd be mistaken. Unbelievably intricate, jellyfish have stinging cells as one of their most fascinating components. Cyanodocytes are the name for the stinging cells found on the tentacles of jellyfish. They are tiny compartments that contain a tiny stinger that resembles a needle. The cell ruptures and ocean water pours in when an outside stimulus activates a stinger. As a result, the stinger protrudes into the source of the activity, where it releases venom. This entire process takes place in a millionth of a second. While most jellyfish don't have poisonous venom, some can be fatal. For instance, the Indo-Pacific sea wasp or box jellyfish delivers poison that causes the heart to beat rapidly. The toxin acts quickly, but treatment is available, so anyone stung should seek medical attention immediately. Number 8. Starfish A starfish is a type of marine creature typically found living on the bottom of the ocean. Several organisms are capable of poisoning humans. Starfish do not intentionally harm humans, yet they can inflict painful stings through the release of venom if they are handled or stepped on inadvertently. The puncture wound poison injury of the crown of thorns, similar to that of most starfish and sea urchins, contains a highly strong form of the animal's venom. The thorns are both sufficiently thin and sufficiently sharp to be able to puncture even a wetsuit that is relatively thick. A starfish is a type of marine creature typically found living on the bottom of the ocean. Some species, like the crown of thorns and the sunstar starfish, are known to be toxic to human beings due to their venom. In extremely rare instances, the poison released due to envenomation by a starfish can cause paralysis in addition to symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, and significant stinging pain. The intensity of the reaction, the speed with which the treatment is delivered, and the strength of the toxin all play a role in determining the outlook of someone stung by a starfish. Number 7. Lionfish these stunning feathery fish have deadly spines covering their mouth and stomach. As they suck in prey up to half their length and stuff it in stomachs that may extend to 30 times their regular size, they wreak havoc on the native fish populations. Small and young fish are easily preyed upon by the lionfish, an import from Indonesia that can wipe out up to 90% of the fish population on a coral reef. Lionfish stings can cause excruciating pain. Attend to the wound as quickly as possible after being stung by a lionfish. Here are some suggestions for dealing with the sting, avoiding infection, and easing pain. The Gulf of Mexico, the Caribbean Sea, and the Atlantic Ocean are all home to the venomous lionfish. The brown, red, or white stripes that cover its body are a surefire way to recognize one if you've ever seen one before. The fish also has fins that resemble fans and tentacles. The lionfish is a carnivorous fish despite its beauty. Its spine, which carries venom that it employs as a defense mechanism against other fish, is its most intriguing feature. The venom contains a neuromuscular toxin with toxicity comparable to cobra venom. When a lionfish's spine pierces the skin of predators or in certain situations or an unaware person, the venom is released. Although lionfish are not aggressive fish, it might be harmful to get into contact with them. Most times, human stings are unintentional. Number 6. Crown of Thorns Starfish If you find one starfish, do not touch the body or the long spines. Doing so can cause a painful sting, swelling, and pain lasting for hours or days. We've even met people who accidentally ran into a starfish and can still feel a piece of the spine in their fingers or hands years later. You've been warned. One or two crown of thorn starfish on a reef might be good for biological diversity because they slow the growth of corals that grow quickly and make room for corals that grow slowly. But if there are too many starfish, or if the starfish eat coral tissue faster than it can grow back, a crown of thorns, COTS outbreak can happen, which is very bad. Scientists don't know what causes COTS outbreaks, but they think it might have something to do with more nutrients in the water from agricultural runoff or warmer oceans, which cause a plankton boom that starfish larvae need to eat. Number 5. Nile Monitor Lizard 
Nile monitors are large, powerful, and impressive reptiles that can grow to be 1.5 meters or longer. During the lockdown time, I caught a monitor on the bluff that was an absolute monster. I laid down next to it to get an idea of how long it was, about as long as 6 feet. Nile monitors are beautiful lizards. The young ones are the most beautiful, with bright black and yellow markings. Most adults aren't as brightly colored as they were when they were kids. They are more gray, but the sides are still yellow. These lizards have bands on their tails. Their tails are shaped like a rudder and are compressed to the side. This helps them swim very well, certainly faster than we can. When they swim, they tuck their legs in like crocodiles. They often live near rivers or dams where they hunt along the edges. The first sign of trouble, they will jump into the water and be gone. But they don't just live near bodies of water. The animals that monitor lizards hunt are in danger from them. Its bite is one of the most dangerous things, and it can cause a lot of pain. This species has poison, and when it bites its prey it can kill it. But the monitor lizard's poison is not dangerous to people. Small animals like a dog could die from it. Most of the time, people who get bitten only have mild symptoms. Number 4. Scorpion Fish the scorpion fish is a poisonous fish that may mix well with coral reefs due to its camouflage. The fish is coated with spines that secrete venom and are prickly to the touch. When handled, scorpion fish can inflict painful stings and discharge strong venom even though they do not actively pursue or attack humans. Scorpionidae is a family of fish that contains zebrafish, lionfish, and stonefish. Scorpion fish are a member of this family. These fish are highly adept to concealing themselves in their environment. The venom is stored in the spines of these spiny fish. Scorpionidae is a family of fish that contains zebrafish, lionfish, and stonefish. Some species of scorpionfish inhabit tropical waters throughout the world, including the warm coast of the United States. They are also commonly seen in aquariums all over the world. The extreme pain and swelling that result from a scorpionfish sting are localized to the area where the victim was stung. Within minutes, swelling can extend across the entire limb and impaired completely. Number 3. Killer Bees A Western and African honeybee were crossed to create the Africanized bee. These so-called killer bees were created when honeybees from Brazil and southern African bees combined. In the 1950s, the Africanized bee was first discovered in Brazil. It soon expanded over Central and South America after a few swarms broke out of quarantine. The first Africanized bees in the U.S. were discovered in a Californian oil field in 1985. The first permanent colonies of Africanized bees arrived in Texas from Mexico in 1990. The southern regions of California, Nevada, Arizona, Texas, New Mexico, Oklahoma, western Louisiana, southern Arkansas, and western and southern Oklahoma are now home to honeybees that have undergone Africanization. Africanized honeybees may sting, and when they're enraged or aroused, they've been known to chase individuals for more than a quarter mile. They were given the nickname Killing Bee as a result. Venom from Africanized killer bees is exactly as harmful as that from honeybees. However, these bees frequently attack in larger groups, which puts people at greater risk. Run away fast in a zigzag motion and escape inside or into a car as soon as possible if an Africanized honeybee chases you. Killer bees will wait on the surface of a body of water for their target to emerge, so experts advise against diving to escape them. Number 2. Yellow Jacket Wasps a sting from a yellow jacket is a painful experience for everyone. On the other hand, some people are allergic to the venom of yellow jackets, which means that a sting can be potentially fatal. Several treatments may be performed at home for a yellow jacket sting, and some measures can be taken to protect oneself from future stings. The class of insects known as Hymenoptera is home to all insects capable of venomous bites or stings, including yellow jackets. They use a stinger to deliver the poison directly into your skin. The venom is what causes a response from the victim. Yellow jackets cause the majority of stings in the United States. They are the most belligerent of the insects that can cause stings. Stings from yellow jackets typically do not become embedded into the skin. In contrast to bees, they can inflict several stings on their victims. Bees can only sting a person once because their stingers remain embedded in the skin after the attack. A local reaction. Yellow jacket stings cause relatively modest discomfort that subsides within a few hours for most people. Number 1. Grove Beetle 
Rove beetles, also called Charlie ants, are a common household pest in Malaysia, especially when it rains. Since insects move quickly, you may only see them briefly. Rove beetles don't bite or sting, but their blood is full of a strong poison called pederin that can irritate the skin and eyes. If you crush the beetle, the poison gets out and your skin takes it in. The beetle can be killed if you swat it like a fly or a mosquito or if it hits you fast, like on bare skin on a motorcycle. It can cause conjunctivitis, severe dermatitis, and serious skin irritation. The first signs are a burning feeling and a reddening of the skin. After four days, this is followed by painful irritation and itching, as well as a lot of pustules and blisters on the skin. If you've ever been bit by a rove beetle, you know how painful it can be. The irritated, blistered, and painful spots stay that way for 10 days. Toxin on the hands or near joints can make it spread to other parts of the body and other people. Now that you know these, the best thing to do is to avoid creatures and count your lucky stars if you come across one of them. Call an expert to help you kill them if there is a need. 